Now we're going to shift a little bit because as we continue to celebrate all the good things and all the events that are going, we have a gentleman with us who uh, is with BCCA, and he'll tell us what all that means, but um, he's a very interesting guy. Also, you know, as part of the entertainment business, and he's very well known in the community, so it's our pleasure to introduce Dan Marshall. Dan, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Good. Yeah. yeah. Dan, um, let's begin so that our viewers kind of get a little sense of you, because you, you, you really... Other than your, you know, your name being very titled and long <laughs> because you do have, you're, you're, you're it's because I'm Latino. You're an executive, <laughs> an executive director, an artistic director, and yet you work for an organization. Tell us a little bit about the things that you do and who you are. Well, um, who I am is a product of um, my parents, I guess, because my parents uh, did everything. My uh, mom was a, we can't say it on TV, but I'll say it, she was a spy too for a while. And, uh, you know, they both worked in the embassy. Okay. Uh, they both speak many languages. And uh, we always had a lot of culture at home. Uh, we, you know, my father promoted my video game playing and my brother, actually the teachers used to watch us do it. Mm. And they, they promoted anything we wanted to do. So we wanted to be dancers, we wanted to sing, we wanted to collect butterflies, they promoted it. And I uh, grew up with nice friends in Israel, um, in, in Jerusalem, who really believed in, you know, people's individuality. And so um, that really manifested itself in me being a dancer as a kid, not being teased, but rather being encouraged. And that kind of, uh, you know, foundation, um, you know, led me to be able to do a lot of different things in my life. So now I'm a professional actor in many films. Um, and I, uh, I've produced, uh, produced probably 1,500 uh, productions over the years, um, in mostly in the arts and mostly in the nonprofit genre. Um, and, uh, you know, I sing, I dance, uh, I'm an engineer, I have a couple of degrees in engineering. And uh, life is long. I mean, I'm 36 now, and I figure I've got another good 70 years to do a million things. So. Wow. That's incredible. Bueno. I can't believe we're at the same age. But anyway, <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> que increíble este hombre. Que no hace. That's no, it. No. You said it. Que no hace. O sea, usted lo menciona y Dan lo hace. Así que nos estaba diciendo, ¿verdad?, de su historial, que sus padres trabajaban para las embajadas, sí. ambos. Y entonces, por eso han viajado el mundo, él vivió en Jerusalén, y también que hablan mucho muchos lenguajes sus padres sí. y por eso él creció con las artes, él baila, él canta, pero también es ingeniero como nos está ofreciendo aquí. Y colectaba mariposas. De todo. Sí, él dice no, que su papá lo dejaban hacer y lo apoyaban en todo lo que su familia quería porque tenían una mente muy abierta eh, culturalmente. Así que. So today you're the executive director for B BCCA. What is BCCA? BCCA, uh, it's like YMCA. BCCA stands for, <laughs> used to stand for Brookline Community Center for the oh, Arts. It okay. was an art center I co-founded in 2003 uh, with two uh, very generous uh, gentlemen, Olaf Black and, and uh, Vlad Selsky. Yes. We co-founded oh, this, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they do a lot of good work in the community. And I, actually, we're watching a clip of uh, some Lindy hopping and, and, and <laughs> I met Vlad Selsky on the dance floor at a party. He was wearing <laughs> a Rasta hat and I was wearing a Prince outfit, you know. Oh. So. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a great world, you know, and um, we co-founded this art center, employed 700, uh, 350 teachers, had 7,500 students, 170 classes a week, and 500 events a year. It was just uh, a blast, you know, and um, in a short while, uh, two years, we lost the building to a real estate battle, and uh, since then, we, um, after we thanked everybody from the past, we launched a new campaign to establish the Greater Boston Community Center for the Arts because we felt we were embraced in the city of Boston to uh, work with the schools, to work with the city's initiatives. So now, after five years, after we closed in May of 2005, we collaborate with six nonprofit, total of six nonprofit, to bring by the Greater Boston Community Center for the Arts in Downtown Crossing. God willing, should we raise the money? Wow. So that's wow. Uh, that's been a journey. So entre él y un, dos personas que él son fueron muy amigos fueron los que or, or, you know, fueron los fundadores de este proyecto. De sí, este, este proyecto edificio. que comenzó en Brookline, como sí. está explicando él, y o sea empleó mucha gente y muchas clases de baile. 350 eran como personas empleados. que empleaban de maestros de, de sí. baile y 700 más plazas estudiantes en un espacio Increíble. muy grande que pudieron rentar y lo perdieron, bueno, como siempre, todo viene siendo billete 
Alguien claro. vino, compró el edificio y ellos no podían y se lo quitaron y entonces hoy en día, pero tienen otro nuevo y, sí, y es. está haciendo otras cosas nuevas hoy en día. Llevan cinco años trabajando para este lugar que está localizado en Downtown Crossing para abrir este que ahora en vez de ser llamado Brookline es el Greater Boston Center for the Arts, o sea el centro para Boston. Y entonces trabajan con las escuelas y con muchas cosas y proyectos de la ciudad. Now Dan is here because he is here for a reason to talk about an event that's coming up. But we will tell you when we come back. We'll be right back. Regresamos ahora. <laughs> 